in the name of Almighty Allah, dear students, hello, wish you be uh, fine with your families. Uh, as uh, uh, we studied our previous lessons, today our lesson is fraction at the unit 3 of your book, page 18. Uh, in your book, directly the title is Adding and Subtracting of the Fractions, but I would like to first shortly introduce the fraction for you and remember that what's fraction, what types of fraction we have and what fractions we used for. So for this, let's have a look for Fraction definitions. What's fractions? As we studied the whole numbers, the natural numbers, so fractions is also numbers, but with a different types. Fractions are numbers that represent a part of the whole things and objects. And also we can say when an object or a group of objects is divided into equal parts, then each individual part is a fraction. Like this examples that you can see, 3 uh, up on 5, 2 up on 4, 6 up on 8, and many, many more fraction numbers. Parts of fractions. A fraction what has? So, the, a fraction has two parts. The first part is numerator. It means top numbers, that we writing the number at the top of the fraction line. Uh, this is called numerator. Numerator. And denominator is bottom number, that it shows always equal parts of a number or an object. So this is this is denominator and this is numerator. Kinds of fractions. We, uh, normally we and uh, have two kinds of the fractions that is common fractions and decimal fractions. So what's common fractions? Common fractions are those fractions that we uh, have at the numerator and denominator whole numbers or natural numbers we can say for that. So these are common numbers, uh, common factors, uh, fractions. But decimal fractions, decimal fractions are those fractions that their denominator, as you can see here, their denominators are 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. So now we understand the kinds of fractions that we have two kinds of the fractions common fraction and decimal fraction and so we know that the common fractions are those fractions that the numerator and denominator are whole numbers or natural numbers but decimal fractions are those fractions that the denominator is always 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Here we have three types of fractions that today we will study types of fractions. We have three types of fractions. One is proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fractions. So what's proper fractions? Proper fractions are those fractions that the numerator is always less than denominator. The nu uh, numerator is all less than denominator. Like example of 3 up on 5. 3 is less than 5. As you can see, the numerator is less than denominator. And the second type is improper fractions. The, uh, this kind of fractions are those fractions that the numerator either equal to or bigger than denominator. Those fractions that they are equal with the denominator or the numerator is bigger than denominator called improper fractions, as you can see in this example. Here is the third type of the uh, fraction. We have mixed fractions. Mixed fraction has its name explained for has its combination of a proper fraction and a whole number, like these examples. As you can see, here we have one whole number that this one is 
whole number and uh, this fraction. The combination of these two called mixed num uh, fractions and we read this like 1, 2 up on 5 or 5, 6 up on 9. So this is called mixed fractions. In fractions we will learn about the like and unlike fractions as well. What kind of fractions are these fractions? Fractions with the same denominators. It means bottom numbers are always the same or called like fractions. Examples 2 upon 5, 1 upon 5, 4 upon 5 and many many more fractions that we have so on. As you can see here the denominators, this number, the bottom number is all the same number. So these numbers called, uh, these fractions called uh, uh, like fractions. And what's unlike fractions? As you know, the unlike fraction is opposite of the like fraction. Here we had the denominators equal, but an unlike fractions, we have different denominators. It means the bottom numbers that we call the denominator should be different, like these examples. You can see 2 upon 5, 6 upon 9, 2 upon 5, or 6 upon 9, it's all the different denominators that we have. So we call this kind of fractions the unlike fractions. Here is the students, uh, we have some shapes. I want to share, uh, explain the fractions shortly on the shapes. As we said, this is the whole shape. It, you can see that we didn't separate this shape in any pieces. So it's wall. A wall means one, complete. And in second shape, as you can see, we divide it into two equal pieces. So equal pieces, we can uh, call this half. And we writing this in fractions like one upon two and in this uh, third uh, shape that you can see, I divide the circle into four equal parts. So we can write this in fractions that if we take the one part, we can say that it's one upon four because the whole equal parts are coming at the denominators and the pieces that we're taking from this shape coming on the numerators. So the whole shape is uh, divided into equal four parts and if we take the ones, so here we will come, uh, we will write one of uh, one up and uh, up on the four, or if we use the two, three uh, pieces, we will write two or three upon four in here. So here I use some uh, um, uh, one words in all of them that I said I divide this circle into equal parts and also this into four equal parts. You know the meaning of the equal in here? Yes, so the main things in fraction is this that always when we departing, when we separating the uh, shapes, the things or objects, the pieces should be always equal and we writing the divided share, um, uh, parts at the denominator and the taken or use it uh, parts at the numerator. So dear students, this was our today's lesson about the fractions. I hope you enjoyed. See you next lesson. Bye-bye.